Welcome to another episode of Coffee and Whiskey with Ivy. Last week has been a real happening week, but I have taken a bit of trouble to pick up the important ones for discussion today. So, the top of the news, the headlines, the whole week is basically about this whole thing about racism. Does racism exist in Singapore or not? And the minister losing his cool and getting angry. You know, minister, don't lose your cool. Get down to the bottom of whether we have racism or not. And let me tell you, the fault lies within our system. We are always harping on Chinese, Malay, Indian and others. Like me, am I a zebra because I'm half Indian and half Chinese? Cut out the CMIO and just put Singaporean, right? A hundred years from now, we will all be Singaporean. We will learn to laugh and have humour. Go and look at Ivan Heng's show. Go and look at Kumar's show. It's full of humour. We always imitate an Indian or imitate a Chinese or imitate a Malay or a Filipino or whatever. It's just humour. So, Minister Shanmugam, don't get so angry so suddenly. Cool down. Talk to the kids, ask them, do they really feel there is racism or not? I tell you something, there is very strong racism in Singapore. We must look at our policies and our policies are the one that's causing this problem. What about the race? Chinese kid, Malay kid, Indian kid, why do we always have to have that kind of hypocritical picture in race and in religion? Cut out the hypocrisy. So, since this is such a hot topic, our poll question this week is based on this hot topic. Do you think the brown face advertisement was racist? A. No. Let's be more tolerant and broad-minded. B. Yes, it was insensitive and offensive. C. I don't know. And D. I don't care. The next question. Was Pretty Please and Shuba's video racist? A. No, they were making fair comment to the brown face ad. B. Yes, they were being racist to Chinese. C. I don't know. And D. I don't care. Please go to the link and share your views with us. Thank you. And now, the answer to last week's question. The PMD problem, whose fault? Very clear answer. 25% say inconsiderate riders. 75% say inadequate planning. Three cheers to the 75%. You are absolutely right. Headlines, ASEAN to navigate choppy waters on own terms. Our Foreign Affairs Minister, Vivian Balakrishna, made that suggestion. And I think he's very right. I think people who are not from ASEAN should just mind their own business and look after their own business. You know, we should tell the white colonialists to go back to their countries and protect their own people from being shot by their own people. ASEAN should navigate our own choppy waters by learning to swim together. Workers must be at the heart of policy making. Our NTUC chief said that. Really? Do you really make the workers the heart of your policy making? Look at your own salaries compared to the fellow down below. You know, you're promoting a progressive wage of $1,200 a month for Singaporeans. How can you live on $1,200 a month? I believe, and I've been saying this many times, 70% of Singaporeans earn less than $2,000. Am I right or wrong? Let's look at how many times you, NTUC chiefs, make compared to the poor Singaporean down below. This news is pathetic and sad because these people had already abused an earlier mate and yet 
our system did not have the checks to make sure that they are not given another victim. But not only that, we should also look at who is allowed to employ a maid. Many of our housing styles do not have a room to give these poor young maids who come here some kind of privacy. So they are actually under constant supervision and that is very, very stressful. So I urge the authorities seriously to look at who is allowed to employ maids. If they don't have a proper place for them to sleep and rest, they shouldn't be allowed to employ them. And if they are abusers, like this couple have been before, then they should be banned from employing mates. In fact, you know, when you adopt a child, the social welfare actually goes and checks whether you should adopt a child. I think we should have a department in MOM which goes and interviews people who want to employ mates so that we don't torture these poor young girls who come to work in our country. IPS studies Singaporean see value of having immigrants. Good to have different nationals as neighbors, say Singaporeans. And I'm sure you will agree when I say good to have cheaper, better, faster people to do the less glamorous work that we Singaporeans do not want to do because it pays so little and it cannot help us to feed our family. Marriages, divorces on the decline, very good. People should only get married if they seriously want to start a family and have children and spend the rest of their lives making sure these kids grow up to be good. They shouldn't just get married to qualify for a HDB flat. When press freedom is the new press freedom. This is an excellent article written by Mafus Anam editor and publisher of the Daily Star in Bangladesh. We should all read this, especially people who make the stories in our newspapers. We should not have press freedom, we should have truly press freedom. As promised, I will always close with the recommendation of one plant to grow. Humanities Next stress, feed 10 billion without ruining the planet. Simple, convert all your gardens into edible gardens. Grow chives. This is chives and you pull it out, there's a bulb. You can cut, cut, cut and make it into omelette, etc. And you can use it as a garnish, put it in your soups. As we enter into our celebrations for our 54th birthday of our country, Let's take a moment, pause, thank the universe for all the good things we have in our country. Yes, it is not perfect, but never mind. Be patient and have the courage to speak up so that changes can be made. I'm very happy to include a small video made by the younger, talented members of my crew. The director was not involved. Uh, and it's a wonderful tribute to our lovely country. You could take a little trip around Singapore town In a Singapore city bus The sea color key and Raffles place The Esplanade and all of it Because it's Singapore, Singapore Your hearts are big and what you find Because it's Singapore, Singapore You'll find happiness for everyone Let's go down to the riverside It's an unforgettable sight Unforgettable. Turning darkness into light 
Because it's Singapore, Singapore, your hearts are big and what you find Because it's Singapore, Singapore, you'll find happiness for everyone Nasi Loma! Nasi Loma! Chokwitiao! Chokwitiao! Laksa! Laksa! Because it's Singapore, Singapore, your hearts are big and what you find Because it's Singapore Singapore, you'll find happiness for everyone. Are you what you're doing? Happy National Day, Singapore! Thank you for watching this episode of Coffee and Whiskey with Ivy. Remember, if you haven't, please subscribe so you won't miss any action.